Commando, HC response teams are already in the building. It's never too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, uh, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. Me, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet for my country. Go, go. Pull us up. What happened back there? Where's Agent Hayes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self-inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Nah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, huh? you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. Wonderful time, Trevor. But we both convertible. Oh, I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know. You have.
have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For some, for some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You mistreat you! I know. I know. You tried to hurt me! Dark man! No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Get a cab ASAP. I'm sending one out right now. Much obliged. exist. Taxi! So where do you want to go? Del Perro. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Mm, pick up the pace, buddy! Buckle up! No shame. Yeah, for real. Virtual. There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying. 
to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Hug, yeah. Uh, okay. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! Huh? You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Alden Appley walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me. To the chariot. Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away. Come on, Jock, get in. Hurry, we're going to lose him. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Did you ever imagine oh, we might God. get a private... Audience with Aldi Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Aldi Napoli line. Maybe I should have driven. Do your Aldi Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're that. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, I won't. Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right-wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this country. What on earth? Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, my giddy eyes. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw it. Careful! You're up for governor of San Andreas. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little, I'm tiptoeing. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me your biggest fan. Huh? Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get Alan off Napoli. Me. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Not jobs. Stop your fucking car! La 
puerta. All right, let's hit the road. Vamos, let's go. Hold on to your. Okay, buddy, there you go. I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she can kind of uptight, but she, she can have fun. Mm. No, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We. Whoa, Trevor. We sure have, but. But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just. No licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell. Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and. Hey. 
And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That gun like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. 
It's all denial. And those are the same planes flying today. There's a part of the dock I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, though. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. Ever since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't been myself. Not at all. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. ...with a new formula for cheap perfume, and no one is quite sure why. Election news. She's a lying shrew. That's what gubernatorial candidate Jock Cranley said about his opponent.